What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. Welcome back to UFC 2 Career. We are moving on. We are in the top three for contendership for the championship against Luke Rockhold for the middleweight championship. Uh, I have a little bit of experience points, but I don't think I'm really going to spend it yet. I mean, I can, but uh, I think I might keep saving up on that sucker. So let's go to the fight offers. I don't know if there's going to be another... I think it's just going to be another selection of fighters. Like the, like the number one contender or the number two contender. That's pretty much all it's going to be. He's got a decent clinch. Tim Kennedy's a six. So, I don't know. 93, 92, and 92. That is weird. This guy's a number six and he's an overall better fighter. Well, I want to fight. He's a boxer. So, you guys know what that means. Boxers get fucked up. So, I want to go ahead and fight Roan Carnero. I think. Yeah, UFC 212. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll get more fans this way. And he's a boxer, and I like fighting boxers. You guys know how that is. Um, I got to keep my training going. I can't train the stand-up. That's fine, because I'm pretty much... You got a heated disagreement with your striking coach and haven't been able to track him down. Looks like you won't... How unprofessional... Excuse me. How unprofessional is that? You have a job. You don't just back off. That's pretty pathetic. That's okay, though. Let's go ahead and work. Maybe I should work the ground training. I really think that's a good idea. Maybe my, like, defense. Because these are pretty shit. My submission defense is garbage. Oh, wait. Didn't I just do that one? Clinch training is what I meant. My takedown offense is trash. I, I'm not very good at it. But I only have the one. But I feel like I can get it done. Maybe I, you know what? I want to work the takedown defense. I, I haven't done this yet, and honestly, on takedown defense, I do not want to. That's what it is. I, I was wondering because in the other game it was something a little bit different. Bring me down. Don't let him hit you. Well, he's not even bringing me down. You got a sprawl. That didn't work. Get up! Jesus! I'm ho I'm doing it! This is so stupid. Alright, buddy. Today could have been a little bit better, but don't worry. We're gonna fix it. Take down defense today. I want you to smear this guy. Perfect. There you go. Block that. Oh, you got me there. Next time. Up, up, up. There we go. Hit me again. There you go. Now I'm getting it. Great job there. Hit me again. Good hand movement. Good job. Nice. Beautiful. There you go. I'm really getting this now. Did you have to do that now, dude? What a vagina. Oh, come on. Get up. Dude, if I don't get it, I swear. Come on, get up. Take me down. Okay, I got it just in time. Backing off. That's the goal that I need. Oh, my God. Or the A, rather. That was close. Dude starts clinching me. So, I've been doing the, ta my, my, the, the takedown block wrong this whole time. No wonder. I thought it was something different. I felt like in the last game it was, because I was pretty good at blocking those. But I guess they kind of changed the way you block and everything, so. Anyway. Let's keep going. I think that's very... Oh, God. Look at our clinch power. Like, we... Because we don't need it to go out, down any lower, yeah? You know? God, he's retarded. The leg power. This is the body. I could use the head power, to be honest. Keep going with the ground. I think I want my ground defense to be kind of through the roof. So we're gonna we might as well sim if it's like if it's gonna be a medium challenge anyway. We'll just sim it and hopefully we don't get wrecked. Did we do anything? Anything bad? The clinch power, still that's the only thing. So I gotta avoid the clinch at all costs, guys. Ground training. I can keep going with the on the back defense, which I think is very important. Although maybe we should work on the ground and pound. Screw it. 
This will get my body up. I know it'll risk an injury. Just, just same thing. We're still good. So our body's been upgraded, which is helpful. But I need my chin upgraded. I really, really do. I mean, my toughness isn't very good though either. I want the toughness to go up. But there haven't been too many upgrades for toughness just yet. So I got to work towards that. That's because of the Taekwondo background, I think. I'm not saying Taekwondo people aren't tough. But <laughs> I'm just saying. So I think the top game in the ground and pound, that can go all the way up to 100. If I'm not mistaken. That can go to 100. So let's get to the fight. He's going to use his hands, so I'm going to use my feet as a dominant. Obviously, I normally do that anyway. But this is the number one ranked fighter right now, guys. And we're working our way up the main card. We're the third fight in. We're at MGM Grand in Vegas. UFC 212. Wait till we get to the main event. All right. So, yeah, my stand-up is still a 97. I couldn't train it, but my, my clinch is 63. My ground is going up. So it didn't really go up that much. I'm actually kind of surprised. Whatever. Coming up next, it's a middleweight showcase between Juan Carnero and the gentleman. Juan Carnero! Why'd he shout it like that? <laughs> the gentleman looking very confident as he makes his way out to the octagon. He is ready to go. This guy has tremendous ground technique. I don't even His know what they're saying. To pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. Last 12 of 12. That's currently my jam. So when you step in the ring with me, you're in danger of being knocked the fuck out. The gentleman enters the octagon and he's ready to fight. Juan Carnero, as he makes his way towards the octagon, he knows he needs to put on a good show tonight. All right, Juan. I'm taking your top to contender spot. Class throws. Look for his opponent to try to keep as far away from this man's clinch as possible. Because if he gets a hold of you, the results are devastating. 27 fights. He must have been in this for a while. It's been sticking at the top of the list for a long time now. Juan Carnero set to fight tonight. Here the Carnivore, the Juan Carnero. Juan That's why I'm calling him that. Juan the Carnivore Carnero. Well, that's a good name. This middleweight fight. He's Carnero 41. Is 12 years his elder. Wow, the I'm 29 now. So that must mean it's 2020, guys. We're into 2020. Bumper. My old ass. <laughs> The gentleman! You're supposed to bow. <laughs> like all elegantly. The carnivore. All right, we're gonna use our our distance and use our long legs. All right, buddy, you ready? Touch gloves and come out fighting. Here we go. Tonight's fight. Good luck to you, buddy. White trunks for the job. What the? That's such bullshit. Oh. Get that stamina back. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, head kick to kick. Wow, he is throwing some huge kicks here. Damn. Big left hand. No, that was a bad idea. Hard straight punch. Big head kick to that. Oh, oh. Get him, get him. 
There you go. He's done. That's it. The fight is over. That's it. Just like that. Huge TKO victory in That's the brutal. first round. Once again, here's our fight replay. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of I hate that that's what they show. I want to see the kick that knocked him down. TKO. We can see it here on a different angle. There are some big shots getting through here. Vicious ground and pound combination that leads to the TKO. And let's look at that again. That was pretty brilliant. And with the official decision, once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies Sorry, buddy. I was pretty quick. That was pretty fast. Your winner by TKO. That's what I mean with boxers, man. They, you could kick the living piss out them, but you'd think they'd have a stronger chin being boxers. So this must mean I'm number one contender then. The top contender for the middleweight championship. That's exciting. I wonder if that means I'm going to have a championship fight. Oh, man. That one went five minutes into round five. That would have been a good fight to see. See, I feel like they should give you a much bigger fan boost. But I feel like we'll get enough fans and pat and get that bar to move up even higher. So our longevity will go for the full length of the career. As long as you're winning, I feel like you'll be fine, you know? Well, let's see what's up, up, up for us next. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a peek at what our next offer is. Oh, we got a boot, better boost for stand-up. Striking coach was helping out with a professional boxer's training camp and picked up some new things. All right, so we got better gains, but we don't really need those gains, do we? I mean, it helps, sure. Oh, I got to fight Tim Kennedy. He's number five, but he's, he's a good fighter. This is the guy I just didn't fight with. So I'm wondering if they're waiting for me. Uh, I don't know what this is all about. This is probably his chance to take it. So it didn't matter that I fought the other guy. This is going to be a tougher fight for me, man. He's very much ahead of me in terms of skill. But let's go to training camp. Let's see what we can do with this guy. The stand-up training's got a current boost. And the only thing I think I could do... I'm going to go with defense tactic. Get the toughness up. I don't like doing easy, though, because... It's a waste, you know? It's a waste, but... My blocking needs to get better, but there's a boost, right? See, my right-hand power just dropped. Which sucks. I mean, I guess I could bring my punch speed up or just keep going with this. My movement and my blocking. I might as well. Because I'd like to get that A class in the blocking here. Oh, shit. Let's my bad. Defense today. Don't let this guy hit you. I don't want to do that. I wanted to sim it. Yeah, we'll sim that. I, I'd rather have the medium, though. That's the thing. But we brought it out. My blocking's up to a 69, which isn't that great. Even with the boosts. I feel like I should go for another training somewhere here. Maybe on the ground. In the medium. Look how close it is to getting that body upgrade. That's what sucks, but... In theory, this is probably what I should have done, but that's okay. My chin needs to be upgraded, but look at it this way. The next thing I have, I should be able to get my chin going. Hopefully, there'll be an upgrade for the chin somewhere along the line. So, let's go to this next fight. If I lose, I will drop in place, so I can't allow that. All right, we're like the we're the second fight. Oh, we're in the O2 Arena in, in London. That's pretty big. Let's hope the Brits will support their uh, fellow Commonwealth mates. Even though we're our own country, we're still a part of the, the British Commonwealth in a, in a matter of speaking. 
We have the queen on our money, dude. Just saying. Anyway, let's do it. Oh, we're home national? Dude, I didn't pick that. That's what it selected. Screw it. I guess we're home nationaling. Because it's the closest thing to Dominion? I don't know. Coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between the gentleman and Tim Kennedy. All right, Mr. Kennedy. I don't know how this guy's going to be. He's a better fighter than the last guy I fought. Tim Kennedy coming off the best training camp of his life, and he is ready to walk away with a victory. This guy has a chin made of iron, Mike. He stays very composed in the pocket, and we've seen him eat some tremendous shots and keep coming. If this ends up turning into a slugfest, there's a very good chance he'll come out the winner on the other end. Tim Kennedy enters the octagon. All right. The gentleman looking very confident as he makes his way out to the octagon. He is ready to go. You know I'm ready to go. This guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is use his defense to keep the fight standing, use the takedown defense and a good solid sprawl, and if he does go to the ground, make sure he gets back up and punishes his opponent. The gentleman sent to fight, Tim Kennedy. All right, TK. For this middleweight fight, Kennedy is 12 years his elder. The gentleman is one inch taller. Kennedy will have a three inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist on a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall. Weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Austin, Texas, Tim Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter. Holding a professional record of 16 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, the gentleman. This is the first time I've been in the red corner. Because I'm fighting someone lower than me. I think that's the situation. All right, Tim. I respect you, brother. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Kennedy. Black trunks for the general. Joe, this is a tough fight for him. In fact, you can argue that this is the toughest fight of his professional career. He Good block. realizes, though, if he's able to get a win tonight, he will move up in the rankings. But, man, he's going to be champ. I'm number one. How can I move up any lower? Change his stance. Whoa. Flying knee. He caught him with the head kick. Oh, whoa, 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 get the blocks up. Vicious shot to the body. Powerful strikes. I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. Oh, flying knee. All right, we okay. Good fighting so far. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. Oh, flying knee. Oh, that hook did damage. Jesus. Oh, he's landing at will. He's in rough shape, man, this Kennedy. Wow. I'm a little tired, though. Big kick misses. I'm actually, he's lucky that missed. That would have fucked him up. Joe, we know Stop taunting me, dude. Training camp, he's not throwing many at all. Man, Joe, he's connecting with those punches. 
nice kick. That, okay, yeah, that was my bad. I used the same kick twice in a row. Strong nice block. By Kennedy. He's in a better position here with the tie clinch. Oh, oh my team. God. Big punch from the top Where's my recovery? Holy top. shit, that, that came out of nowhere. In the side control. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Trying to get out of this cheese. Caught him with a big right hand. I'm not, I don't want a 69 you, bro. Come on. See, I hate this. You have to completely let go. Oh, this is tough. Good elbow by Kennedy. So annoying block, man. He's hurting a bad here. Kennedy gets it back in the north south. What a brilliant pass. I got to get into full guard. Joe, he's showcasing some great movement on the ground. But it's too slow. Do something. Go to full guard. Jesus. Okay, so I managed to switch it around. I had him there, but once he brought me down, that was kind of where the shit hit the fan for me. That's what I'm talking about. That really fucked me. He won that round, especially for that one. But I'm ready now. This guy's got some integrity, so you gotta touch gloves. Oh! I see how it is. Lands a powerful kick. Wow! Beautiful hook. There's a nice combination. He's got Oh! Oh my god! What a finish! Oh! For the victory. <laughs> Please showcase that. Once again, here's our fight replay. Yes. Take a look at the replay. This is boom. Drops him. Perfect technique. Show another He's angle. Clearly hurt badly here. Let's take a look at it one more time. That's here's an awesome lockdown. looking kick. Oh man. What a way to finish. Great angle here. And then I just wailed on him. Lands perfectly, and that's the end. God, can you imagine if I upgraded that? With Complete knockout. Season, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 27 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the gentleman. The gentleman. Winner by knockout. That was a good fight. That was a great way to end. Come on, man. That was epic. <laughs> oh, I'm so close to that next level. Probably one more fight should do the trick, though. What's next for us? I don't even know at this point. Do I get to go for the championship? All right, what a fantastic fight. Number one contender right now. Not much else I can do. I'll have to look and see what's next. But we have a great streak going, so I'm super psyched for that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very, very much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get it to 500. Favorite the video as well, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to follow me on my social media. Those are down below in the description, and we'll play at the end card of this video. Great idea to follow me there. I do a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. Great way to see that kind of stuff. Exclusive giveaways, things like that. Great way to associate with me outside YouTube. Uh, if you also want to get a t-shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop down there as well. So go check it out if you're interested in, in that. But other than that, that's it for this video. Thank you again, guys. We'll see you in the next one. But until then, let's hand it over to Knox Hill. See you guys later. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm.
If you feel trouble while and wild, no need violent and hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylus dial. Damn, goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, see shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like Darth Vader. Players grab your respirators, night invaders get light sabered. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers, just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools, keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah, it was never, ever a game.